All right, so uh, I include in the description uh, of project one that uh, there was an option of drawing this thing in GeoGebra, and I have to admit I hadn't actually tried it. Um, but since a couple people asked me about it, uh, I figured I'd, I'd, I'd work through it. Um, so I'm going to make this video just to share uh, what, what worked for me. Uh, I'm sure there are other ways of getting your, uh, getting your goblets to, to render in three dimensions, um, but I just wanted to walk through one way of doing it. Um, so here we have uh, geogebra.org uh, slash 3D gives us the 3D calculator part. Uh, and then the, the steps to coming up with the, uh, to, to, to making this work is that first we need some variable. Uh, we're gonna call it t, and we're gonna say this equals uh, two pi. Um, I found that rounding up instead of, uh, oh, geez, two pi, uh, six point, instead of 6.28, uh, call it 6.29, uh, just so it gets all the way around. Um, this is how much it, uh, a function is going to revolve. Um, then we also need our, our function itself. And so the way that functions work in GeoGebra or the way that piecewise functions work in GeoGebra is you want to use an if statement. So if some condition holds, so let's say we're talking about x's between, uh, actually, and let's use x's between, oh, geez, uh, x's between zero and one. Let's say that when x is between zero and one, our function looks like x squared, uh, and then when x is between 1 and 2, so we're including the upper limits of this, uh, maybe it looks like the function 1. Um, and then so if I hit enter, I can minimize this. Um, this is going to give me the graph of the function of this piecewise function. Between 0 and 1, it looks like x squared. And between 1 and 2, it's just a, a straight line. Um, and now if I want to revolve this around the x-axis, so in this case, this red axis, uh, I'm going to do surface uh, f comma t comma x-axis. Um, and then there we have it. There is our goblet. This is a very poor goblet, um, but in theory, your, your function here would be more elaborate. Um, there are a few other settings we could change. Uh, for example, we could remove the axes and the plane and have just the goblets. Um, I believe we can go in and remove uh, this line. You can also go into the settings here and say, uh, don't show the label, all, all kinds of good stuff. Um, anyway, I just wanted to, to walk through that in case some of you are having some syntax problems with, with GeoGebra.